You can do anything you set your mind to, man. Ain't that the truth? You really are the architect and creator of your reality. Train the mind and the body will follow. It's a powerful message in that song. It's a powerful song. Music is powerful. That's why I highly suggest using it as a tool to jog your memories from your younger years and explore your entire life's work so you can make better sense of why your present day is the way that it is. Use the music that resonates with you and that you've been exposed to over the years. Those songs in particular, as soon as I hear them, I'm taken back to specific moments in my life. One reminds me of bartending in a nightclub and moving to Los Angeles. One reminds me of a bad breakup. One reminds me of my first time going to Las Vegas. That last song, Lose Yourself by Eminem, that piano part in it instantly takes me back to fall of 2002 and doing nighttime jogs at Lake of the Ozarks, Missouri. See how this can really take you to a place? So not just jog those memories, get in there, look around at the moments of your life, explore, turn things upside down, understand more the people that you've interacted with and that have contributed to specific moments in your life. See what they were going through. Explore it all. But I also want you to do something else here. In addition to using music as the catalyst to going down memory lane and re-exploring people and events and occurrences in your life, I also want you to explore how music in and of itself impacted, molded, formed, influenced, programmed, and contributed to your overall development. Music is a powerful, powerful force. Sound is a powerful force. And the impact they have on us cannot be understated. All the songs that I played in the beginning, not only do they trigger memories in my own world, but when I hear those specific songs, what starts happening? I start bobbing my head. I start moving my shoulders. Some of those songs I've danced to, you know, that Eminem song. Do you know how many times that that song has either gotten me through a workout or has just gotten me to go work out? Music can get someone to literally move. That is a powerful force. And so as you look back at how music has impacted and contributed to your development, I think talking about music and sound in ways you might not have heard before can help you with that exploration. Little things that I've learned and have come across that have really blown my mind at what not just music but what sound is at an energetic wavelength level. I do want to say there is a difference between sound and music. Music is sound, but not all sound is music. Music to me involves a person or people coming together and is more structured with an intent and a desire to be harmonious with vocals, possibly no vocals, instruments of all kinds. Music is an intentional output of creativity where sound is just a sound wave in and of itself. Sound waves are unique because not only do you hear them, but there's a physical element to them as well. You can feel them, sometimes knowingly and a lot of times unknowingly. You should look up sound waves going through water. Depending on the frequency, all types of geometric shapes and patterns display themselves. I've also seen examples where more disharmonious sounds and noises are put through water and it looks a lot more chaotic. And so the first thing I thought of when I saw these examples was the human body. We're mostly water. So if sound can cause geometric shapes and patterns and even a whole lot of chaos to occur in water, then imagine what it has the ability to do to the human body, including the brain. Aside from music, Think about what happens when you live in areas that have a lot of traffic, a lot of construction, a lot of people, all these noises going on all over the place. It can take its toll on us. That's why sound baths are such a great way to heal your body physically. It has been proven that cells can regenerate and heal themselves because of the right frequency of sound waves going through it. And on the flip side of that, sound can also cause damage, disharmony, discord at a physical level as well. Does some of your music have those elements in it? Think of it this way too, as we go from the physical into the mind. If you are in a low vibratory part of your life and there's a lot of negativity going on, 
and then sound waves of a lower vibration come into you, can that act as a catalyst for you to do something that you might regret? Can that music of a low vibratory frequency bring in even more lower vibes into your life? Just like how music can heal us, it can also be detrimental too. So study music, study sound from a vibrational standpoint, and you can see how it has an impact on you, not just now, but throughout your whole life. Would you have listened to a specific band or genre if you were in a different place in your life? Up until now, I've only been speaking about the sound of music. I haven't even mentioned what rhythm does, what tempo, volume, what repetition does, lyrics. Lyrics are a whole nother ball game. I'll get into that in the next episode because a lot of times we're drawn because of lyrically what is being said. Every instrument has its own frequency range. So when you combine all these elements into what we call music, including the intent of the creators, it's way more powerful than I think we tend to realize. One of the coolest things I learned in college in a Psych 101 class my freshman year is that music can have the same effect on the mind as drugs can. It can alter the mind like a drug. How many of our minds have been altered? And that doesn't mean it's a negative thing. I'm just simply asking out loud how much of the music that we've listened to throughout our lives has altered our minds, has literally changed the frequency within us in any given moment or time period. If you want to fully understand who you are and everything that you have going on in your life. This is an area that is of utmost importance, in my opinion, to explore and see how it's affected you. Music is powerful. Music can make us lose control. It can bring people together. We can get lost in music and we can let music control us. It's all what you wanna do with it. I've met a lot of people throughout the past few years who have fallen on hard times and who are in more of a negative rut who stop listening to music. One of the most important things that I can tell you is don't stop listening to music. Let music heal you, whether it's about going back to your younger years or moving forward. Understand frequencies. Understand how your mind and body work. Seek out instruments. Seek out new genres of music. I'm telling you, when I have music playing in my place, if I just put some jazz on or some bossa nova, the creative flow that comes through is noticeable. So my writing gets taken to another level. My ideating, my creativity, it works with the creative flow of that music coming in. So don't turn the music off in your life. You might need to find some new music, but don't turn it off. Also, if music and sound can have an effect on us as receivers, then imagine being the creator behind that output. If you are a musician, if you've played instruments, keep playing them. If you're a singer, sing. I can't express this enough. I think this world more than ever before needs the voices and frequencies of the musicians and singers out there. So be that voice, be that expression, be the frequency that you wanna see Earth vibrate at. If enough people out there all over the place did that, you would see the vibrations of this place turn overnight. Nike's got the best slogan of all time, just do it. Just be you.